Hi there. My name is Zach, and I'm a product marketing manager here at Stack Overflow. In this video, you'll be hearing from one of our product designers where she explains our upcoming content formatting experiment. In this experiment, we'll be utilizing AI to help users format their questions, the body of the questions, and the code according to the language that they're using. This experiment will help improve the quality of questions on the platform to help make reviewing easier. Additionally, reviewers and curators will be able to focus on the content of the question and help users get better answers. Now, I'm going to pass it over to Ellen, who will tell you more about this experiment. Let's get started. Here, we're viewing the user just as they're asking a question. They've written the title, and they're about to explain their problem. Let's go ahead and fill out the body. If they need additional help right below, they can see that they're able to get AI suggested edits for, to improve their question. If they're happy with their question as is, this is not a step that they have to take and they're able to skip it and go straight to uh, adding tags, which we'll circle back on later on. In this case, the users would like to improve their question and they're curious about the suggested edits, so they go ahead and click get suggestions. Immediately underneath, they're able to see a comparison of their original content as well as what the AI is suggesting. Uh, we're leveraging an, ex an existing component for this view and the user can click to see the changes in line, side by side, or with side by side markdown. The user is able to compare the, and review the changes between the original and the AI uh, suggestions and decide if they'd like to accept them or if they'd like to reject them. In this initial version, we made a decision to keep the scope simple, so the user must accept all the suggestions or reject all the suggestions. They are not able to accept suggestions one by one, um, but that's something we might explore in a future version. If the user does like the suggestion, they can go ahead and accept it. They'll receive a confirmation that the suggestion has been uh, updated into their question um, and uh, th that happens in this text box. If they want to change or update their question, they are still able to do that by updating uh, their content in the text box, text box itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Since the question has now been changed or updated, the user is able to click the get suggestions button again to see uh, new suggestions that reflect their changes. If they're satisfied, they can move on to finishing uh, their question um, with adding tags. All right, I'm gonna come back to the beginning of the flow now to talk about some other choices the user is able to make. So in this case, um, the user has decided they would actually like to update their original question. They can go ahead and do so by clicking right into the text box to make changes. Once they make any edits to their question, they're able to update the suggestions. This section will then refresh and the users will be able to see new suggestions um, that reflect uh, their new changes that they've just made. Now I'm going to loop back and talk about what happens if the user doesn't like the suggestions. Uh, all right. So we will go ahead and scroll back down. Um, so in this case, if the user doesn't like the suggestions um, and they'd want to reject them, they can go ahead and do so by clicking the reject suggestions button. The suggestion isn't applied, uh, but the user is still able to generate the suggestions again if they change their mind um, or if they want to make more edits and then uh, get suggestions at that point in time. They're also able to continue their writing their questions by adding text. Um, coming back right to the beginning again, if the user, f for any reason, doesn't want to see AI suggested uh, edits for their question, they're able to go ahead and skip it and move directly onto text. To summarize the content formatting experiment, in this video, you just saw how we're utilizing AI to help users format their questions and the body of their questions, and the code according to the language that they're using. 
We hope that this AI tool will help improve the quality of questions on the platform and help make reviewing questions even easier. This way, reviewers and curators can focus on the content of the question itself and help users get better answers.